All righty, we are going to see Ambulance. I think this is the first time we've seen two movies in one weekend since before the pandemic. <laughs> the movies are back. All right, so we just saw Ambulance and it was better than I expected. What do you think, babe? Pretty crazy. I think Michael Bay got a new drone or something because there was so many drone shots <laughs> in that movie. I enjoyed Ambulance a lot more than I was expecting to. And I'll admit, I'm a sucker for Michael Bay movies. I know he's got a lot of gimmicks and cliches that people always point out. And this movie is filled with them. But for the most part, it just works here for me. And for this review, I actually want to start by talking about the negatives. Yahya Abdul-Mateen, I think that's how you say his name, apologize, is proving to be one of the best up-and-coming actors today. Jake Gyllenhaal is one of my favorite actors. And I felt like Yahya Yaya Abdul really held his own. But Michael Bay's style of dialogue and expositional type of scenes usually come off a little cheesy and clunky. People say things that they would never say, or they say things really fast in a goofy way. But thankfully, I only really felt that at the beginning when Jake Gyllenhaal and Yaya Abdul kind of first meet up and Jake Gyllenhaal asks him to rob a bank. Very convenient that they're about to go on this heist and they just happen to be short one guy. Like this movie is just full of inaccuracies and convenient plot holes as well as things that would just never work in the real world. I mean you've got a car chase in LA which having driven around LA there's way too many cars and people on the street for a car chase like this to happen let alone go on for so long. Also it's never addressed but they're driving this ambulance like a bat out of hell the whole time and gas is never mentioned once which I guess is not a big deal because we don't really know the time frame but it is a two-hour movie and I would say for like 75% of it, we're in this car chase with an ambulance, which they say has a brand new V8 in it. So we know it's a gas guzzler. Like, there's also a scene that I was very surprised by because it's very intense. Actually impressed me, the way that Michael Bay pulled it off. There is some surgery going on in this ambulance while they're going like 60 miles an hour. Like, legit in the abdomen surgery, and there is no way <laughs> they wouldn't mess something up inside this guy while being in a car chase like that. But as long as you throw logic out the window, I feel like you have a much better time watching Michael Bay movies because that's just kind of the way they go. And besides that, I mean, there's just a couple little things here and there. There's like a little side plot that just kind of feels thrown in that definitely leads to something big in the movie, but I just didn't really buy it that much. Uh, Michael Bay must have discovered some new drone or something because there is an absurd amount of drone shots in this movie and there's a couple really good ones, but definitely during the first half, you really feel like every time, you know, somebody arrives to this bank, there has to be a drone shot that just goes down a building. Really good looking, but just like over the top, you know? But I mean, that's Michael Bay. He just kind of gives you more than you need of everything. There must have been 20 fruit stands that I saw destroyed by this ambulance mid chase throughout the movie. And one other negative I think is going to get to some people is the fact that Michael Bay movies just tend to be like 10 to 20 minutes too long. I heard some people complaining on the way out that there was too many heartfelt moments, but I feel like the movie would have suffered without them. So those are the main negatives I wanted to harp on, but let's talk about the positives. This movie is definitely a one-off. A lot of movies today feel like they're just trying to set up a sequel or a franchise and this one just feels like its own self-contained story. Besides the overuse of drone footage, the movie shot really well. It feels like a much more serious movie from Michael Bay, which I feel like we haven't gotten too much of lately. I love Pain and Gain, but that movie tries really hard to be funny at times when it probably shouldn't. In this one, I feel like most of the comedic timing was on point. Jake Gyllenhaal. I mean, his role is one that could easily steal from the rest of the movie, but I felt like he knew what he was doing and him and Yaha Abdul Mateen are great together. Ezia Gonzalez, I hope I'm saying that right, does really good as the paramedic that she's playing, but I liked her character. I, I felt like she was genuinely just trying to do the right thing, and I feel like this movie would have suffered a lot if she didn't carry that character the way that she did. The action's on point, the car chase is awesome, there's some good little twists and turns throughout it, and also I gotta mention, Kaylee Tran is in this movie. We were co-stars in a short film that Jeannie directed back in January, and I'll be sharing more on that very soon, hopefully. But she had a little scene at the bank. She was a bank teller. And so it was cool to see somebody that I actually know have her little moment on screen. And I thought she did great. She's the one that the police officer is trying to ask out at the bank at the time of the robbery. But yeah, this movie worked for me. I had a great time. It's a Michael Bay film, but I think it's a good one. And I think it's the best movie we've gotten from him since before the first Transformers. And speaking of Michael Bay films, he totally references some of his movies in this, which I thought was kind of cool. And one more thing I want to harp on is the fact that this movie had like a $40 million 
million dollar budget, but watching it, I thought it was a hundred million dollar movie. He did a really good job at using the budget wisely. So definitely gonna keep an eye on what he's doing now since he's hopefully done with the Transformers movies. I think he did enough of those. I am gonna give Ambulance a seven out of 10. There's a lot of movies coming out right now. We're ramping up into the summer, but I think Ambulance is one worth watching. And honestly, I might pick this one up on 4K during like Black Friday or something because I just enjoyed the hell out of it. Like it's one of those movies that's fun, action packed, but there's enough plot going on that you don't necessarily have to turn your brain off. And I like that. So let me know down in the comments. If you've seen Ambulance, what did you think? And if you guys like these videos, you want to see more of them, be sure to use GFIELD code DannyD at GFIELD.com. Save 10 to 30% off your order and help support my content. Stay tuned for many more movie and TV reviews very soon. And if you made it to the end of this video, be sure to comment the word chase. If I see the word chase, I know you watched the whole thing and you're a real one. But that's it for this one, guys. As always, stay safe, be nice to each other out there, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!